Hello, and welcome to the Kudos Dashboard Insight Series, where we discuss the different details, insights, and recommendations that can be found across all of the Kudos Dashboards. My name is Anthony Greco, and I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager at AWS. In today's video, we will be focusing on the Storage Summary tab. So let's get started. First, I will click on the Storage tab at the top. This tab contains details to help you understand your current usage for EBS, Elastic Block Storage, as well as EFS, Elastic File System, and FSx. Understanding your current usage and trends will help you identify areas for cost optimization, as I will show you throughout this video. Note that Amazon S3 storage details are on their own tab and will be covered in a separate video. Starting at the top, as with the other tabs, we have our controls. Click to filter by payer account, or by linked account using account names or account IDs. For now, I'll leave the defaults which have all accounts selected. In the recommendations section, you'll have links to the most common trusted advisor checks related to EBS cost optimization. You could click any of these to be taken directly to the trusted advisor checks for your AWS account to review and take the appropriate action. There are also links to helpful blog posts and other recommendations, such as converting to the GP3 volume type, which offers 20% savings over GP2. Okay, so now let's get into the data. The first visual contains the top accounts contributing to EBS spend in the last three months. For this and any other visual, you could click into a specific data point to filter the other visuals on the page. I'll click on the account with the highest spend in May, and I can review the other visuals to investigate trends, and to see the details of what is contributing to this amount. I'll return to the visual and click on the item again to remove the filter. The next visual shows the EBS volume coverage in gigabytes across your organization for the previous month. In the center is the total amount of storage allocated to your EBS volumes. Here we can see that 41% of the EBS volumes are GP2, so there is an opportunity to explore upgrading to the newer GP3 volume type. The next two visuals provide a summary of the total EBS spend for the prior month and what the month-over-month -month trends are for your accounts. Here we could see that the total cost decreased by 16%. Scrolling down, we have the EBS storage unit costs. This shows you the cost per gigabyte for every EBS storage type used by your accounts in the last five months. You can hover over a month in order to see the breakdown by each storage type, and you can also see the effective cost per gigabyte across all EBS storage types. In this example, we are trending downwards to $0.09 cents per gigabyte in May and June. The EBS storage spend visual provides you with the month-over-month -month costs for each EBS storage type. You can see trends such as a storage type increasing or decreasing, and outliers like these spikes in GP2 usage in March and April. This is a great visual to see the results of your cost optimization efforts over time. The trend here shows GP2 usage going down and GP3 usage going up. Next is a visual showing the EBS operations usage costs over the last three months. This provides a granular view into the specific EBS operations contributing to your overall storage costs. For example, you could see costs for snapshots, EBS volumes, and read and write I.O. operations. You can hover over a specific day to see the breakdown and total costs for that day. The Volume Explorer shows you the top 20 EBS volume details for the previous month. You can filter this to a specific account using the controls at the top, and there's also a Volume Explorer control to specify one or more EBS volume types to look at. If needed, you could export this data to CSV or Excel by clicking on Menu Options. Continuing down, we have the EBS snapshot spend over the past four months. Snapshots are a cost-effective method of storing point-in-time copies of your data, but you will want to ensure you have the appropriate lifecycle policies in place to delete snapshots that are no longer needed. Wrapping up the EBS section, we have the top 20 EBS volumes and the top 20 EBS snapshots, both sorted by cost. This can be very helpful for cost optimization as you can identify specific volumes to review for right-sizing and check that the most expensive snapshots are indeed required. You can export this data to CSV, which can be helpful if you need to have another team investigate. The next section is for EFS and FSx storage types. The first visual on the left provides a view of the top 10 accounts contributing to EFS and FSx storage over a three month period. As before, I'll click on the account with the highest spend in March, 
and I'll review the other visuals to get a detailed breakdown by product and usage type. The visual on the right provides the EFS and the FSX storage costs broken down by region for the past three months. You can quickly see trends and which regions are growing and shrinking. The next two visuals provide a breakdown of storage by product, which is EFS or FSX, and by usage type. By default, these are across your organization, but you can always use the controls at the top to filter by a specific payer or account. Next, we have the storage usage costs by operation, giving you a detailed daily view of your costs across EFS and FSX. This also allows you to view a more granular breakdown of the costs for different file systems. Finally, we have the top 20 resources for the prior month. You can quickly see which file systems cost the most and use those as targets in your cost optimization exercises. That concludes the storage tab of the Kudos dashboard. For more details on how to deploy and use the Kudos dashboards, check out the rest of the video series on this channel. Thanks for watching.